Hi there, it's Donna from Taffy Crafting. I've got a really cute card which I started filming and the design of it kind of went a little bit wrong but it seems such a waste not to be able to share this with you. Um, and it's using the Playful Pets DSP. I've got a type of easel style card that just fits like that. Now I was trying to um, copy something that was um, going on on Pinterest and I thought it was going to sit like that but it just kept falling apart. I think there just wasn't enough weight coming forward. Um, so rather than go back and redesign, I kept going. Um, I'm making this uh, for a blog hop and I did not want to start again. There's not enough hours in the day to have to start again. So I just want to show you how it all goes together. It's quite straightforward. You start off with a piece of um, black cards. Oh, well, I've got black, um, but you could use any color. It depends what DSP you're using. And that cardstock measures 11 inches by um, four and a half, four and a quarter inches, 11 inches by four and a quarter. And that is scored at five and a half. We did score it at two and three quarters, but as we're going to do an easel style card now, you don't actually need to score that again. So just score that in half at five and a half inches. And then you've got a separate piece of card here that measures three and a half inches by nine inches and it's scored on the long side at four and a half and then what I've done is I've decorated the front of that card with some playful pets DSP and also the inside of that I've decorated that with the same DSP I'm running out of this and so I've just literally got scraps of that both bits of that DSP measure three and three eighths by four and three eighths and so I've put one on that side and one on the inside of that. I've used the It's Your Day, Enjoy It stamp from the Happiest of Birthdays. I've stamped that onto Whisper White cardstock. Well, it's not called Whisper White anymore. It's called Basic White cardstock and stamped it in real red. And I've just cut round it. If you want the measurement of that, I can tell you what that is. It's three inches by one and a quarter and that fits that stamp on nicely but you can use any sentiment on there it depends what the what the card is for so I've just stuck that in the middle and then on the front of that I've got a circle that I've punched using the two and a quarter inch circle punch I've punched that out in red cardstock and out of the playful pets DSP I've fussy cut um, this little dog and what I've done is I've stuck the circle onto the front of this using stamp, uh, mini stamping dimensionals. And then the dog is stuck onto that as well using mini stamping dimensionals. And then this whole separate card is then stuck onto the inside of, of that long piece that we've got. Just like that. Just use liquid glue for that. Now for the front part of this, say on this one, I have scored it at two and three quarters and that's, but it's, you don't necessarily have to do that. It's only because the design of the card hasn't quite gone the way I wanted it. This piece of DSP measures, now what does it measure? A four and an eighth by two and five eighths. And again, I've just taken a scrap. This is also from the Playful Pets DSP. I've got a piece of real red cardstock. Do you know this is all I've got left now of my real red cardstock? That's it. I've had to order some more. I've ordered um, a whole load more Regals, Brights, Subtles and Neutrals cardstock. I was just running right out of it. Um, so I've used the... So these two heart punch packs, these two heart punches come in one pack. So I've used the scallop edge one and punched that out in real red cardstock. And then using, because I have bought rather a lot recently, and this really is now your last chance to do this, for any orders over £90, you can have a Touch of Ink stamp set for free. Um, you, have to, um, you have to request this uh, at the bottom of your order. Once you've spent more than £90, at the bottom of your order, it will ask for the catalogue number of the celebration item. So this one is 155233. And this is free when you spend more than £90. And I've used the best wishes. I thought that was going to be really small. Actually, 
it's quite big, it's a nice size. And I've stamped that in real red onto Whisper, uh, sorry, basic white cardstock and then punch that out using the plain edged um, punch. And then what happens, I've stuck all of that on with mini stamping dimensionals just to give it some height so that when we put the card down like that so we can open it up, so if that comes in the post like that, I've stamped um, a piece of Whisper White cardstock right on the back of this. This measures, I didn't really take much notice of these measurements actually. This measures three and three quarter inches by five inches. So this come, also comes from the Happiest of Birthdays stamp set, but any birthday sentiment will do. And there's also enough room on there for somebody to write who it's to and who it's from as well. So once that's received in the post, or if you hand it to somebody, then they're going to open it up like that, open it up like that. There's so much going on. And then they can put it on a shelf or on a mantelpiece and can sit like that. And that's, you've, you're not really seeing it at the right angle there, but that's what it looks like when it's sat. I think that's a really fun card. I'm disappointed that it didn't do what I wanted it to do. I wanted to sit like that, like it's like another different type of easel card, but it's just falling back. I need more weight here and less weight there. So I'm going to have a look at the design of that. So actually when it all flopped down, actually it just did that. So I was happy with that. So I hope you like that. I hope it inspires you to have a go at it. It is really easy to put together. Um, you know, nothing fancy going on there apart from a little bit of fussy cutting. Um, but you don't have to do that. You could just um, leave it, leave it at that with the DSP on there and maybe put your sentiment on the front of that or just use some different DSP. So I hope that inspires you. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this type of project, then um, come and subscribe. I try and post videos as often as I can, not as much as I'd like to, but um, time stops me from doing that. But I hope to see you all again soon. Bye bye.